Well, I'm really getting into this uh, electronic stuff with this spooky remote, and uh, you know, I decided to run something um, that Hold the Clark talked about that could be a major problem with a lot of different things. It's a type of well, I was actually getting rid of these, um, you know, these types of parasitic eggs, these uh, Fasciolopsi busky eggs. And this is out of the consolidated frequency list, and I decided to run the uh, dampened square wave. You can see if you hum hover over to this, it says dampened square wave. Now you can actually run this. Well, you can't run all the pro. You can run one frequency at a time manually and stuff. It's better to use the program. But what I found interesting is um, this. You know, they're talking about now. This isn't exactly the same as using the uh, the uh, Dr. Hoyland uh, 11th harmonic. But if you could see, they're using the 11th harmonic in this dampened square waves because you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11 harmonics. So when we go run this, you'll like, you might question why your generator is running something different. So that says 15 for the hertz, right? Now you look over to the generator, it has, um, it's displaying 1.36364, right? But actually, if you take, you know, I just counted out those waves, the 11th harmonic, um, it's not doing the same exact thing as like running a 11th harmonic signal within a wave. But I found it interesting that this is the way this, if you take the 15, the frequency I'm running, divide it by 11, you get the 1.36364 just as it's running down here on the generator. So I found that kind of interesting because, um, you know, that seems to be well chosen about this, um, you know, to even the um, dampened square wave has 11 cycles within it within it so um, you know that might be a good wave to choose when you're trying to knock something out um, on while you're using a remote device and um, versus just a plain square wave and again if you are using the menus in here like um, you know if I, I, I had this manual mode and I chose the arbitrary wave you can you know, like I showed on the other video, you can use this wheel uh, to put it on arbitrary wave number seven, where it would list it right here in the middle, and it would actually um, be the dampened um, um, square wave. Uh, so that actually is a very good signal to use in a in a generator, and um, you know, actually, if you're just taking this generator portably without you know, I, I recommend you always using a program, but, you know, sometimes you might be someplace and you want to use contact mode. Uh, this dampened square wave actually is making 11 cycles in there, and that's supposed to be very significant. So they really designed this program really, really good. Um, and uh, it's this generator itself is, is far better than any zapper as a standalone generator but the only thing is um, it's still not quite as portable as a zapper you know you could probably I don't know how you know I, I'd be afraid to like walk around with this and you know you might knock it around or something and screw something up it's not made to be portable like a zapper but you know probably the right battery source off of you know not the USB but off of like where the DC comes in would probably make this into a nice little portable device that you can use into uh, contact mode and you know maybe someday they might even have that too I don't know but it's um, I guess the other thing to do would be to get a very very small portable laptop that you can plug into this and um, you know even make it even more portable I have a little um, Toshiba a little Toshiba with a 11 hour battery uh, that has Windows Starter 7 as Spooky was originally developed with but I, I wanted to point this out because I found it's very interesting about the dampened square wave that it actually has 11 11 waves within that wave so um, that is why the generator will show this and it follows exactly according to the graphic representation of the 11 cycles within one cycle 
And I think that's, you know, from what I'm hearing about this 11th <laughs> harmonic and all that type of stuff, this is a little different from setting up to um, the 11th harmonic within a wave, but it's interesting they chose to use 11 cycles within a damp and square wave. It's, it's probably a very, very uh, powerful uh, way to use it. And probably stronger than the square wave itself. So I uh, just want to point this out. Um, and I'm running this right now per remote. You know, it's uh, this remote stuff actually is so brand new. I don't think anybody even knows exactly, <laughs> you know, what how effective it is or what's going to happen. But, you know, I just figured I'd point this out because I'm thinking I'm going to run a lot more of my programs when they run on remote and if I'm trying to knock out parasitic eggs or something like that. I don't even know if I have any, but just to get rid of them. I am mean, going to run this uh, dampened square wave versus the uh, plain square wave. Interesting that it has 11 um, cycles within that. So anyway, over and out, I just want to point this out because uh, I personally think this technology is the best damn thing going and uh, it's going to be a very steep learning curve for me as I get into it because it gets as complicated as you want it to be, to tell you the truth.